Hello everyone, I am Karan Masroo. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to look at the solution of the problem Roman number 2 integer. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? Given a string in Roman number format, your task is to convert it to an integer. Various symbols and their values are given below. So basically, we are given a number in the form of the Roman representation in the form of a string and we need to tell its equivalent decimal integer. Okay. And the values of different symbols are given here. So I in Roman format represents 1, V represents 5, X represents 10, L represents 50, C represents 100, D represents 500 and M represents 1000. So if we look at the first example if the input string is v v represents 5 so the output is 5 if we look at the second example it is i i i so i basically represents 1 so this is basically 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is nothing but 3 complete the function roman to decimal which takes a string as input parameter and returns the equivalent decimal number the expected time complexity is length of string and expected auxiliary space is constant so now if we think about solving this problem then basically whenever we are converting a number from roman uh, representation to the decimal equivalent basically we need to add up the values of the symbols which are represented in roman format okay so basically this is how much x represents how much 10 v represents how much 5 so the total uh, value represented by x v is 15 we just add it up like how it was given in the example i i i so this represents how much 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 right but there is a catch okay so basically roman representation is made in such a way that no character or no symbol out of these symbols is is present continuously or consecutively more than three times okay so it may be present one time or consecutively two times or consecutively three times it cannot be present more than three times consecutively okay so now what happens is there is another rule that whenever in the Roman representation, if we look at two consecutive characters and the value, the respective decimal value of the first character is less than the second character, then we subtract that uh, character's value instead of adding. Okay. So here 10 is greater than 5. So this is greater than 5. So we added it up. But whenever we look at two consecutive characters and the value of the first character is less than the value of its next character at that time we subtract its value so for example if we look at this then x represents how much 10 l represents how much 50 i represents how much 1 and v represents 5 so 10 is less than 50 so here it would be minus 10 and not plus 10 because 10 is less than 50 then plus 50 again 1 is less than 5 so minus 1 and plus 5 so this is how much 55 minus 11 this is 44 okay understand what i told no same character is repeated more than three times consecutively okay so 44 is not represented like this this is 10 10 10 10 1 1 1 1 no we do not represent it like this we represent it like this okay now let's look at here so x is 10 x is 10 i is 1 i is 1 and i is 1 this will represent how much 23 10 plus 10 20 and 3 is 23 if we look at the last example d represents how much 500 c represents how much 100 x represents how much 10 l represents how much 50 okay so 500 is greater than 100 so we add 500 100 is greater than 10 so we add 100 10 is less than 50 so we subtract 10 and 50 is the last character uh, 50 is the last value so we just add it up so it is 650 minus 10 so it is 6 40 so basically if i conclude what we have to do we have to uh, move through the string and add up the value of each character whenever uh, either it is the last character or that character's value is greater than the consecutive next character's value and when that character's value a particular character's value is less than the consecutive next character's value okay strictly less at that time we subtract that value if it is greater than or equal to the next character's value we add it up so for example here they were equal in that case also we will add it up okay now let's look at its actual code so now if you look at the actual code so what i have done is i have taken n as the size of the string then some variables initially i have initialized answer variable as zero i have traversed over the string for i equals to zero and up to less than n 
if i is less than n minus 1 it means if it is not the last character then calculate the value of that character okay so v1 equals to calculate uh, str of i so calculate the value of that character and v2 is calculate the value of the next character str of i plus 1 if v1 is less than v2 so if the present characters uh, corresponding decimal value is less than the next characters decimal value then we need to subtract it so answer equals to answer minus v1 else answer equals to answer plus v1 and if i is not less than n minus 1 i is equals to n minus 1 so it is the last character so definitely we will just add up the value that is calculate of uh, calculate the value of the last character okay so if it is the last character we will definitely add it and finally we will return the answer so now if you look at this calculate function so uh, here basically when it will just uh, return the respective value of the character so if the character a which is passed in the function is i return 1 if it is v return 5 if x return 10 for l 50 c 100 d 500 and for m uh, return 1000 okay and finally we will return the answer what would be the time complexity here the time complexity would be big o of n where n is nothing but the length of the string because we are using one for loop and what would be the auxiliary space the auxiliary space in this case would be how much constant because we are using only a few variables right so now let's submit this code so let's submit it so we have solved this problem successfully i hope you understood the solution completely thank you